What's going on, COD fam? Welcome back to the channel. We have finally reached 30 million on free play. The account is going to be a slow crawl for quite some time. We are not upgrading our buildings from 24 to 25. They are worth over 5 million power. We need that power. One day, when it is time to get a legendary skin. Let's go over what's new with the account. We have one new hero. Fragar slowly chipped away with the lucky wheel. Ten spins, two different opportunities. We eventually received the hero. I have not used her yet in combat. That's why she is level 50. I think she's going to be an awesome raid hero with um, Sindrian. I don't know yet though. We'll see. See if we can finally break the top. I don't know. We'll go with the top 60%. <laughs> so we'll see when that happens. We reached membership level 11. We have a bit of a way to go. I think we're going to be membership level 12 for quite some time. Membership level 12 to 13 requires another 150,000 points. Cannot wait to get this key. The 5% research speed is crucial. In terms of research, we have made extremely little progress. I do plan on reaching level 9 at the end of the season and starting on level 10 preferably with a 15 percent research run which means that will probably be the only research we complete next season artifacts i think we have three brand new ones maybe four i know this is new breath of the forest which we will need we are one of the lower power targets in our alliance ancient roots Maybe this is new, and I think the heart is new. What's interesting about the heart, something that I learned, is you cannot cast rage skills while the buff is active. I don't know if this is intended or not, so try to time your rage skills in between your onslaught. I hope they fix that in the future, because having that active and casting rage skills would be pretty awesome. So one of the main reasons we're going to be progressing very slow is I'm hoarding. As you can see here, there is well over a billion in resources. Which isn't really going to be the problem for a legendary skin. Um, it may not sound realistic. And who knows, maybe I'll crack. But right now we have a little over 4,000 hours in speed ups. And for me to guarantee the accomplishment of the goal of a legendary skin, we're going to need... <laughs> We're going to need 72,000 hours. So that's why the progress of the account is going to be very slow next season. I I think we're going to hit 40 million by the end of next season, but I wouldn't be surprised if we don't. Aside from that, I want you to know I attempted to be much more active in PvP. I have a lot to learn. I focused all of my merits on speed ups and CP items. I rarely bought Elixir unless it was discounted. But the main focus, I'm sure we've gotten many hours of speed ups this season. I was a bit more active. Was able to stay in CK all of this season. Did not get booted this season. I'm probably lucky for that, fam. Um, I did try to make time in between deliveries, but we are still working. Sometimes up to 17 hours a day. We missed out on this. I'm really bummed on this one, but I did not deserve this reward. At the time when the Alliance was fighting the dragon, I had no time off. I would not have been able to attack the dragon even one time. So I am sad to have not gotten that reward, but I certainly did not deserve it. That is pretty much it for the season. I will work on putting a video together on how we're going to get a legendary skin on free to play, what the requirements are, and how long I expect it to take to get the materials and the research speed. I hope y'all have a great day. Eat some good food. And above all else, smash.